hard and deep inside her, fucking her on the bathroom sink, her tight little black dress still on her thong on the floor, my pants at my knees, our eyes locked, our hearts and our souls and bodies locked. Come inside me. Come inside me. Come inside me. Blinding, breathless, shaking, overwhelming, exploding, white god, I come inside her, my cock throbbing, we're both moaning, eyes, hearts, souls, bodies, one. One. White. God. Come. 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 I close my eyes, let out breath. Come. That was from Katarina by James Frey. It won the 2018 Bad Sex and Fiction Award. You're probably not surprised by that. The shortlist that year also included some close contenders. Some absolute bangers. I slipped my erect penis inside. Or, from another angle, that part of her actively swallowed my penis, immersing it in what felt like warm butter. Warm butter. Warm butter. Her vaginal ratchet moved in concertina like waves, slowly chugging. <laughs> Don't do voices, Phil. Don't do voices. Slowly chugging my organ as a boa constrictor swallows its prey. Oh my god. Vaginal ratchet. Vaginal. What the f? Okay. There's a point to this. Besides uncomfortable laughter. Right? Welcome to my seminar on how to fuck good in fiction. No, not that, actually. Um, it turns out I'm the last person to give that advice because when I was contemplating making a video on bad sex scenes in literature, I asked the question on Facebook. Friends who read a lot, what's the worst, daftest, least necessary or most cringeworthy sex scene you've ever read in a book? I got a lot of great suggestions, but my wife, my wife, the love of my life, she said, Hail of Megado, runs away. You'd better run, Egg! So yeah, I'm guilty of this too. In the podcast adaptation of From the Hill of Megiddo, said unnecessary sex scene was subject to some severe editing. You should totally check that out, by the way. Not the sex scene, the podcast. I am a good writer, I promise. Listen to my words that aren't about fucking. <laughs> so what's a good sex scene outside of erotic hair where throbbing members assault your every sense? Let's check out Before They Are Hanged, book two of Joe Abercrombie's iconic first law series. No character names means no spoilers, but if you're likely to read the book soon, then skip ahead so that you can experience this iconic moment for yourself. Trust me. Ah. 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 What? Uh, you're joking. Well, that's the first sex scene in a book which made me laugh out loud and made me feel like the writer had achieved what he intended. Which is probably the closest thing to a conclusion I can reach in this video. If you want to write really good, intimate sex scenes which turn the reader on, then write erotica. Leave it out of your sci-fi espionage novel or whatever it is you're writing, unless it's essential to the plot that these characters bone. But why? Why would you do that? Why would you do any of that? Even then, less is more. The reader doesn't need to be sold every thrust, every chug of the vaginal ratchet. No. <laughs> Just don't, okay? I made the mistake so you don't have to. Sex isn't bad. People have sex. It's part of reality, and it can be part of a story too. But what's important isn't the gory details. It's the reason why the characters do it, how it affects their arc, whether it has consequences later. Just like a movie, sex scene isn't better if the actors really do it. A book sex scene isn't better because we have to cringe through warm butter. <laughs> 
if you enjoyed this video, hopefully not too much, then give it a like. Subscribe to the channel for more writing content, the majority of which is not awful sex scenes. I'll leave one last illustration of why, if in doubt, you should cut the sex scene. Eliza and Ezra rolled together into the one giggling snowball of full-figured copulation, screaming and shouting as they playfully bit and pulled at each other in a dangerous and clamorous roller coaster coil of sexually violent rotation with Eliza's breasts barrel rolled across it. Ezra's whole howling mouth and the pain frenzy of his bulbous salutation extenuating his excitement as it whacked and smacked its way into every muscle of Eliza's body, except for the otherwise central zone. Good lord. See you next time.